Hi, I'm Scotty from Mazatlan, Mexico. Today I have a lesson on uh, sound visualization, extending some of the ideas that Loudon shared with us in week one using a spectrum analyzer and a spectrogram to look at the frequency content and study the timbre and also using some filters to modify timbre. Uh, I use the sonic visualizer tool from Queen Mary College in Great Britain and I'll provide a download link for you to get that yourself. In addition, I use sonar from Cakewalk to manipulate the audio files, do some filtering, and uh, look at the spectrum with the spectrum analyzer, um, and that helps me uh, determine the edits that I want to make. So I hope you enjoy the lesson and get something out of it, and we'll get started right away. Okay, here we are in sonar with the audio file I brought in, which is a whale call. I'm hoping to use in a piece that I'm composing right now. And I'll play the raw audio for you now. So, as it's playing, you'll notice the spectrum analyzer here is showing the frequency content with red being more energy and fading off to blue being lower energy. Okay, here we are in Sonic Visualizer with that same file that we were listening to in Sonar. And I've expanded this frequency scale over here on the spectrogram to a very high uh, degree so that we're only looking at the frequencies between 21 hertz and 2.4 kilohertz. And in the spectrogram, you will see that the frequencies with the higher energy are tending more towards the red and the pink. And um, as the frequency content has lower energy, it will have a light, a a greener or even bluer color. Um, and you can see that in this particular file, the, set, the frequencies with the most energy are at 538 hertz here and also at 150 or 60 hertz here. And then there's one that slides up through various frequencies here that's quite strong. And then we have um, partials of the fundamental frequencies represented here um, going up all the way to the top of the scale.